Hi, it's Sam from Green Shorts, and today I want to show you how to make a super simple worm tower using brick and chimney flue. I know many of you don't like the idea of having PVC in your garden. So I wanted to provide an alternative method for creating a worm tower right in your garden bed. In fact, this project only requires a shovel and the parts. You don't have to cut anything, you don't have to glue anything. It's just that simple. And we're using inert materials, products made from the earth itself. Let's get started. First thing I need to do is decommission this garden bed. Thanks to my daughter's friend Margaret for my sign. Now that the bed is prepped, I'm gonna dig a hole that's a little bit bigger than the circumference of the flue pipe. Ha! A potato. Planted those earlier this year. All right, this hole is plenty big and nice and deep, but I may be too close to this side, so I'm gonna move it down just a little bit this direction. Because I wanna be able to get a plant in on this side of the tower. All right, that's a good spot. I want the bottom of the hole to be relatively level. And the first thing I'm gonna add is two of the cut bricks. So no holes and thin. That will provide a bottom to the hole. I wanna make sure these are level, or relatively level. And then on top of this, I'm gonna do a circle of bricks. And I've got the plantation bricks, which have the 10 smaller holes. You could do just fine with regular bricks also. I'm gonna put these in a circle with the hole facing out. Before I add the bricks, I'm gonna add a shovel full of sand to help stabilize the base. The sand is just an optional step. Creek sand works just fine. Now I'll start my circle. Make sure the bricks are standing up as straight as possible. They're leaning over a little bit. That's where you wanna use your sand to kinda of make sure the base is flat. Or if you want them centered on your flat bricks on the bottom. Now, the only crucial part of this is that your circle is one that you can sit your glue liner on. Once you have your first piece of flue pipe on top of the circle of bricks, you can backfill. And while you're doing that, you can make sure your bricks stay vertical. Make adjustments. finish it off, I'm gonna add one more section of flue pipe with a little collar on the top. And now I'll top dress this with some partially composted wood chips. Now even though I'm not gonna add worms to this right now, I'm gonna go ahead and add compostables. This bed has had worms added each year and so this, it's probably one large composting worm colony. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the composting process and remind them that this is their home and uh, provide them some food for the winter.
finally a little water. I'm actually gonna try not having a lid on this, just because I think certainly during the winter, there's not gonna be a whole lot of uh, activity of things like soldier flies that would, would get in there. And I may even leave this as a hybrid composter where whatever gets in there to compost does the composting. Come springtime, I will probably add a batch of worms uh, just to get this thing started and to see how it performs over the course of a growing season. Well, there you have it, folks. A super simple, easy to install worm tower that only uses materials from the earth. What better thing to put in your garden? As always, our mission here at Green Shorts is to help you see green so you can be green and save a little green by doing it yourself. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and share and subscribe for a new Green Shorts DIY video almost, almost, almost every Friday.